Okay, so this is very rough. Um, if you see me looking up, it's because that's where my screen is. Where I'm going to be reacting to some D&D shorts on YouTube. So, this is going to be very um, short, but let's get started. Let's go with the first one. When the book becomes real. I often don't really feel like the book is a real thing, uh, despite by this point having worked on more books than I know the number of at this point. It often is only when I have the physical book in my hands do I actually feel like it's a real thing, but the printout reviews are sort of the closest I get to that feeling before the fully printed book comes out. And part of that for me is because when we're in the printout review phase, we're still doing so much work. And for me, it is still the thing I'm pouring my heart and soul into and not something I can, I can take off my designer hat and put on my fan hat. And that's why I love getting the book itself because then I get to just be a D and D fan and take in what's being offered. I often don't really feel like the book is a real thing. The art, I often don't really feel like the book is a real thing. Next. The art has been developed so closely with the text. During the UA process, we had a subclass or two that uh, didn't make it, like the brawler. The brawler didn't make it. Oh, that's just from Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, okay. Let me do more shorts. The most hated race and class in D&D. &D. I want to see this. What is the official most hated race and class in D&D? &D? Well, a few years ago, 538 did an analysis of D&D &D Beyond user statistics to find the answer. Now, this was a while ago, but it covers pretty much all the races and classes that most players have access to. Here's the data. So the most popular by far is the human fighter. Turns out, as a community, we're pretty basic. In fact, almost one quarter of all characters created are humans. But the least popular class is surprising. It isn't one of the weak ones like monks or rangers. Druids are by a long way the least popular class in Dungeons and Dragons, and the least popular race is the Asimar. But the absolute rarest, least popular combination is the Asimar Ranger, making up just 0.06% of all characters created. So seeing one in a game is kind of like finding a shiny Pokemon. Enjoy! What is the official <laughs> most hated? That thing rooting around the library. The okay. <laughs> I not I did not expect you know, to say the weak one was the ranger. That's my favorite. That has my heart. And I didn't re I didn't realize that the um <laughs> the least popular class was the druid because if I'm not playing a ranger, I'm playing a druid. <laughs> But as far as race goes, um, my first time playing D and D, I was a human, and then um, I think everything after that, when it came to Dungeons and Dragons, I was, um, I believe, a Goliath was the next one. No, the next one was a Tiefling. And then I was a Goliath. And I've been a Luxodon before, which is the elephant people. So <laughs> that was that was a that was a nice statistic. Um let's see. Did I over prepare for D and D? I have been summoned to the Isles of Stormwreck, and these are my supplies. Research notes on the species that roam the Isles, and a journal filled with my vast knowledge of the location. Chamomile for the soul, and rose tea for the heart. Sticky dice. Where have they been, I wonder? A beautiful dice holder. Supplies for an imminent death at sea. Everything you need to start Dungeons and Dragons. Dice, a campaign guide? Rules, character sheets? Now all I need is friends. 
I have been summoned to the Isles of Stormwreck, and these are my supplies. Research notes on the species that roam the Isle. <laughs> no, I need us friends. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, that, that is such a struggle. <laughs> it's pretty much when you have friends in real life, but you don't live anywhere near each other, or your schedules don't line up. So you either have to either never play or find a way to play online. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not being picky. Well, I guess I am being picky, but I'm just going through the list. Um... How D and D classes use a bow. I know someone who would love this. Should have cast Hunter's Mark. Okay, I like that, but make mine a double. Look, a distraction. Disengage for the flippers. Sneak attack. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna flip in, and then I'm shoot an arrow, and I'll do another flip, and then I'll shoot an arrow again. And then I'm gonna go in for an unarmed strike and yeah, BAM! Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull, Eldritch Smite! Uh, uh, okay, Helm, take the wheel. Uh, Misty Step. No. Have pointy sticks! <laughs> Did someone order a bar? Oh yeah. Toss a coin to your archer. I mean, could it be any more fabulous? <clears throat> oh, Valley of Plenty. <laughs> Should have cast Hunter's Mark. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that. <laughs> I think I used Hunter's Mark once. And it was like during a final battle. And it was like, um... Oh, I remember it was, it was in a campaign I was in where I was fighting Tiamat. <laughs> I use Hunter's Mark on Tiamat. It's like, you can't miss her. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, so this has been a long test. So I will end it here. And you guys let me know how I sound, how I'm pretty sure I sound awful. Um, but this is the first time I'm doing something like this. I've streamed before with video games. Um, but not with the camera and this is my very first time reacting to stuff on YouTube <laughs> in person for people to see. So let me know, um, what you guys think. Bye-bye. <laughs>